Good morning, everybody. So it's Monday morning, and we're starting our week. And we're going to do the last project in the Red Template Library this week. So there's three, three of these pages from the book, the you know the cards, and then three templates for this one it's the exploding box so we're going to start with the base and this gives the instructions for the base so that's what we're going to work on today and i don't know how far we're going to get i don't know if we're going to get um, matting layering done or you know exactly what we're going to get done but we're going to get what we can I would kind of like to keep it, you know, one card, so it would be over a three-day period. Um, this 12 by 12, I thought it was a Crafter's Companion card, but when I hold up Crafter's Companion card to it, it doesn't quite match. It's a different tone of white, so I don't honestly know what kind of card this is. Okay, I have my template, and I'm just going to kind of line up the square, square ones, and in the corner, so that's lined up, and that's lined up, and I didn't used to do this, but I started doing it, and I realized that if I do this, it kind of makes it easier if I have to come back and, and do something that I forgot. It makes it easier to find where I was. So that's why now I kind of like to do this. So what I'm going to do is start by, of course, the outside portions and We're just gonna oops. I don't know. It should say it makes it doesn't say what it makes right now. It just says that it takes a twelve by twelve sheet of paper. And I do have plenty of this white, so so I was like, yeah, how's oh, this? <laughs> I have plenty of it. I thought it was a Crafter's Companions, and it's not super thin or anything, so that was another reason. But then when I held them up together, they're like different colors. So it could be Crafter's Companion, and it's just different because I didn't even know they had 12 by 12, to be honest. And then I ordered this without realizing it was 12 by 12. And when I got it, I was like, wow. <laughs> I never even knew they had 12 by 12 white card. So. Anyways. Today is Monday, so I hope everybody has a great week this week. We all need to have a good week, right? Everybody. Okay. Now I'm going to do the box part of score lines. So I know that this line needs to go all the way through it says valley 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 when you see those you know that line but make sure you're looking at the right line and basically it's a box at this point okay and i'm doing the box first and i'll come back and do these after but you know, figure out your method for keeping track of where you are 
so that you know you're getting all your lines scored. And if you're not sure, do it again. It's better to have it rescored than not scored at all, right? That's the way I see it. Okay, so now these all, these corners are all gonna need some kind of a, a score, a fold in them. So I know that. So I'm gonna come and get the corners now. And honestly, I think I have one time made an exploding box. It, it's um different, so I'm gonna cut. I didn't get that very good. There you go. It was, you know, I think I'm gonna just cut the squares. It just helps get rid of some of the mess, so, and then it makes it easier. So if I come over here, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm having a hard time getting it to this. There we go. So you're supposed to turn the paper right, not the scissors. So it does make a difference and it makes it a smoother cut. if you do that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut here, come in here, cut that, and then
see if we can get in there. Seems like I'm taking a long time to get the cutting done. Is it just me? Maybe not it's bad. Okay, so now when you're doing these, you come back to this, and this tells you how to fold everything. Valley, valley, valley. So valley, valley. Valley is basically a down, so you do that for a valley. This is valley, valley. So we're going to fold down. And you can see here, they're showing, you know, the folding here. Well, you can't see that maybe here and then here. So they, they're showing. Okay, and then these here are also on here as valleys. So it means they're all going the same direction. And a valley. Okay, now. These here all say mountain. And what a mountain folder is, is up. So valley is down, mountain is up. Right? So up. Okay. So now, since these are actually, which way? Valleys. No, okay. So this is what is going to happen when you fold it in. It's going to fold in like this. And this is the base of the box. Um, then there's, you're not going to glue any of it together. You're just folding it and keeping it there. So like with mine, I have, let me get rid of all of this. folder. I'm going to go ahead and use this because I do want my edges nice. So crisp edges. That's what I want. And These actually look pretty crisp. I'm gonna go ahead and, I think they are pretty crisp actually. Okay, don't need that. <laughs> so now I have to decide on what paper I want and what mats I want and all of that. So see here, they did purple, purple, white, and then a, um, a design, remember, this is your base. This is gonna be this part of your box right here. This is gonna open up and come down. So these are also part that are gonna be showing. It's all gonna be showing. And I think they all call for this same size mat layers. So 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. What do I want to use? That's the question. Because I need to have enough for the inside and the outside. And they could be different. But they still should kind of be the same. I'm looking at my rows of paper. I'm trying to decide what I want to do, and I think. Let me look at this. Okay, so this has three of each, but I need. A paper that I'm going to use. You might just only. Oh, here we go. This is a knitwit. A knitwit paper pack. Right? So this should be enough. For my outside, and I need another paper. This cup, I think I'm gonna use this as the um, layer color. So I think. This, this, and this, 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 and this. I think that should be good. So I'm going to do my layers a little bit bigger than they do theirs. I'm going to need eight, right? Oh. I don't like my mat in layers as small as they do theirs. So I'm gonna use my way of doing the matte layers using the template. So you see I'm lining it up with the two outside lines. And now we gotta have, I can't do it all because it would be too big and it would cover the whole thing. So it has to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is go to the next inside line, which is a matte layer line, but it's the next one. And I'm gonna do, yeah, two sides of it. So I've used this much more space. And there's that less, okay? So what that means now, I can come, I'm gonna cut, I'll just cut this one to start with. Cut, and then I'll measure, and cause I got a lot of them to cut, right? Eight. Okay, so they are three and a quarter inches, three and a quarter inches. So let me get my cutting board and I'm going to do seven now that are three and a quarter.
think I need two more whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, so two more. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you how that adjusted size fits. No, nope, that doesn't fall. So you can see the difference. It's, see how nice that fits? Imagine it twice that size, just too big to me. But the next size down will be the third size. So um, I'm going to go ahead and glue these down because why not, right? I could go with this side and then this. Let me think. I think I'm going to try that. Oh, I did get that um, thing fixed on my fine glue. And I'm curious, but right now, I don't want to be here all day spreading glue, so I'm definitely going to use the regular, but um, I did... do some of it. I did fix it. Some of these I think are going to have the flower on it and I think I'm going to still be okay with that. I think it'll still be okay. It's still going to look all right. I think. I hope. Corners. Okay, now I gotta do these inside ones. I haven't even started on the heart yet because I don't think I'm gonna be able to alter those as much. And so we're gonna go with the easy ones first. And maybe this is all we'll get done in this video because the time is ticking by, but if we get these at least these layered, matted and layered. Then that's something, right? Hmm. Only one had the flower on it. I can't believe only one so far has had the flower on it. Yeah, that's it. Just the one. Flowers must be on the piece that's left, <laughs> which is probably but <laughs> it is kind of 
so that actually turned out pretty good. So now what I think I'm gonna do, I can either do the next size down, mats you know which would have been the largest mats that we got from the template or I can do the smallest ones but of course if you know me you already know that I'm doing the ones that are the regular size right that's who I am that's what I'm going to do, so they would have been the first layer, but with me doing it the way I'm doing it, they're the second layer, but they would have been the largest layer, but because I changed it, they changed it. So I'm just going to line that up. And then I cut it out. You know, bring my paper trimmer. But I'm gonna show you if you don't want to bring your paper trimmer, what you could do. If I don't want to bring my paper trimmer, I can just keep tracing that and cutting it out. Or I could just come, take this top one, and cut it. And just follow the line. And you can see here I'm a little bit off line. I kind of want to fix that. Well, I'll be the same size, so. <laughs> because what I would do is, how can I put this? You know how if you cut a bunch of one thing out, they start getting smaller and smaller and smaller or larger and larger and larger. Well, that's because every time you cut one, it's off a little bit. And then you use that one for your next one and it's off. And by the time you get done, they're way off. Just make sure that you're always using that first one every time. And that... should keep you closer so you don't keep um, getting bigger or smaller or whatever you're doing. But I'm using the trimmer, so I'm going to measure this. And we are... Ooh, Three and an eighth. Mm. Okay, thank goodness I have that measurement. <laughs> okay. So three and an eighth. That's not going to work. Okay, flip it over. <laughs> you can. Whatever is going to work. So see how crooked that is? I'm going to actually trim it. I'm going to bring it here and try to... Here, I'll just do it from here. I'll just start cutting from here. Three and an eighth.
Okay. Get this off for some reason. And three and an eighth. Every one of these. There's five. Look at that. Should be the other one, but look. I like that. Okay. Oh, it cuts off the word grace. I'm gonna manipulate it. I usually don't do this, but I just like that. Three and an eight. I just like that it says grace right there. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Okay. So, just so you know, I just realized that I should be doing nine. Yeah, no. I haven't done the lid yet. So, you're going to have to keep all these papers. And don't forget. One, two... What I might do, since this paper is a little bit different, but it would still go. I think it would be okay. I'm going to save this for the top of the lid. So I need to put this in a safe spot. Hopefully, that'll be a safe spot right there. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Okay. So now I want to glue these down, and I want to make sure they're facing... Uh, remember, <laughs> this is going to be the bottom. This is how it's going to go, right? So, this one's right, right? This is the bottom. This is the bottom. So, to face up, it needs to be this way. It's not in the smaller, is it? It's not enough smaller. So I need to come in and probably change it to three. Which means I gotta recut all of these. And I'm just gonna go with three. Seems to happen a lot with this cutter. Okay, so remember, excuse me, that it does need to be made a little bit smaller. Excuse me, I don't know. What's doing it?
right? I mean, this side here is crooked, so that's the side I'm going to cut. Let me cut it the same as the others. I'll cut that one off a little bit, too. Let's see how many I got. I think I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So this, I'm going to fold that. And now we can put it on. So this will go this way there we go this will go this way this will go this way this will go this way okay I don't know what I'm going to do for later today for the next medium Monday. I don't know yet. So. I think it goes this way. Yep. Sometimes. Yep. Bloom. Remembering that you want the up here, right? Because this is the bottom, so it needs to be that way. So, if you are dyslexic in any way, and I don't know if this makes a difference, but if you're not sure you're getting it laid down right, take and put in a matte layer of this one that's farthest away from you. And that one you're going to put right for you to read. And then you can just turn and that's how you're going to do it. You'll just turn it. And that's right. And turn it, and that's right. Now when you go, now here's gonna be your four matted and layered sides, right? Now the insides. Yep. 
check your words. See which way they should go. Or your, your pattern, your flowers, whatever. Make sure they're going in the right direction. And when you're just dealing with squares, it's pretty easy. It's the other shapes you gotta worry about because they gotta be cut right. You don't have to worry about it with circles or squares because squares you can just turn. Right? Just always remember this is the bottom. If you can't do it that way, turn this right and then I would put this and I know this one is going to be where I'm reading it the right way. Just want to make sure my butterfly is going. I don't want him flying down. He can fly across. Right? He can fly this way. Not down. So either this way or this way. I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> So here we go, our corner, our squares are matted. And I'm not gonna be able to tell the inside from the outside, <laughs> right? And when they're folded, here we go. So when we come back, I'm gonna have to do the mat and the layering on the hearts. And get them right. And I'm probably going to kind of stick with the same pattern. I might venture a little bit into something a little different. Since I'm using just a paper pad, I might be all right doing something else from the paper pad. I don't know yet. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again. Everybody have a wonderful Monday and a blessed week. Bye-bye now.